Welcome to this hands-on tutorial on Amazon S3 encryption. In this video, we'll explore how to enable and verify encryption on your S3 bucket and objects. Let's start by creating a new S3 bucket. Let's name this bucket. Scroll down through the settings. Keep all defaults for now. Make sure to enable bucket versioning. This helps us track object changes later. Next, look for the default encryption section. You'll see three options. SSE S3, which is S3 Managed Keys. SSE KMS, which is AWS Key Management Service. DSSE KMS, which is Double Layer KMS. Let's start with SSE S3, the simplest option. Select SSE S3 and click Create Bucket. Now that the bucket is ready, let's upload a file. Click Upload, then Add Files. Let me upload this file naturescene.jpg. Click Upload. Once uploaded, click on the file name. Scroll down to server-side encryption. You should see, SSE S3, Amazon S3 Managed Keys. That confirms our file is encrypted with SSE S3. We can also change the encryption for a specific object. Click Edit on the file's properties. Changing the encryption will create a new version of the object. This is why we enabled versioning. Let's switch to SSE KMS. This uses AWS KMS to manage keys. Under KMS settings, choose the default key. It's free and managed by AWS. You can also use your own KMS key, but that may cost money. Click Save Changes. Now, go to the Versions tab. You'll see two versions of the file. Click the latest one and scroll down. The encryption should now show SSE KMS with the key ID. Now upload another file to understand other related aspects of S3 encryption. Click Add Files and let me choose the lakescene.jpg. Before uploading, go to Properties. Under Server-Side Encryption, choose the encryption type. SSE S3, SSE KMS, or DSSE KMS. You can override the default bucket encryption here. Select your preferred option, then Upload. You can also change the default encryption for the whole bucket. Go to the bucket, then click Properties. Scroll down to Default Encryption and click Edit. Choose your default. SSE S3, SSE KMS, DSSE KMS. If you select SSE KMS, the bucket key option appears. This helps reduce KMS costs by minimizing API calls. It's enabled by default. Note, if you pick SSE S3, the bucket key setting does not apply. You may ask, what about SSEC? SSEC, which is customer-provided keys, is not available in the AWS console. It can only be used through the CLI or SDK. And for client-side encryption, it's fully managed by you. You encrypt the data before uploading and decrypt it after downloading. AWS doesn't handle client-side encryption. To recap, we explored the three main S3 encryption options. SSE S3, easy, default, and free. SSE KMS, uses AWS KMS. DSSE KMS, double layer encryption, more secure. We enabled default encryption, uploaded encrypted files. Overrode encryption for individual files, and edited encryption settings at the bucket level. That's it. You now have a solid understanding of encryption in Amazon S3.